Hi, so today we're going to be going through how to construct a VLE on Excel for a binary system. So to start off with, you're just going to need your underlying constants for your most volatile and least volatile component. So if you could just map those out on Excel and then go ahead and construct this table, then just double check the units. So right now I've got log 10 and I'm working in millimeters mercury. So just change it as you need if you're in bar or if you're in ln, however. Uh, for my equation, I need this in degree C, so don't worry about this Kelvin here. And let's get on with it. So um, first of all, you just gonna need to guess roughly around about the temperature that you think the separation is gonna take place. So it will be near the boiling point of the pressure. If you're not sure what it is, then um, you could guess number anywhere around about that area and um, if not you could just leave it blank and let the solver deal with it um, starting from one so just to start off with which we're going to do with log 10 pa we're just going to fill out the Antonin equation so that's a minus b over c plus t there we go so if we just lock these cells in place as well so that's using f4 for windows users then we've got that all sorted. We're going to do exactly the same for the least volatile. So A minus B over C plus T. Brilliant. So we'll lock these in place as well. Just the Antonine constants. Um, and then that's all sorted. So then just because we need to get rid of the log to get the isolated vapor pressure, we're going to do this by 10 to the power. I'm going to do exactly the same for B. Um, and then we've got the isolated vapor pressures here. And then once we've got the isolated vapor pressures, we can times it by the liquid fraction here. So if we just do the liquid fraction of A times the isolated vapor pressure, then that's just going to give me the pressure of A. <laughs> this is all in millimeters of mercury. And then since we're doing it for a binary system, if we do one minus the fraction of A, that's the fraction of B. And then again, we can um, times it by the isolated vapor pressure. Likewise, just because we've only got these two in our system, we can sum them to get the PT. And then doing the pressure of A over the total pressure will just give us the fraction uh, for the the vapor fraction for A. So that's just our table complete now. So all we need to do is just drag this down to the bottom. And there we go, it's all filled in. So this is all filled in at the same temperature. Um, normally columns are operating at the same pressure. So that's this column here. So we're just gonna aim now on getting all this the same. So what I'll do first is I'll show you, if you go into data and you go to what if, and go seek. Then for our cell here, then if we want to set everything to 800 millimeters of mercury by changing cell and you need to select the temperature here then we can get the solve to do it so it's 137 degrees um but what i'm going to do is i'm just going to hit run here which is going to auto solve everything to 800 whatever values in this box um and that's just a way so if you've got to do many you can do it nice and quick so if i just get up the visual basic here so to get to Visual Basic, you need to go to Developer, Visual Basic. And what I've got is I've just got this little macro here. So as long as you just fill this in, go seek, and then you need to put dimj as integer for, and um, these numbers are just the rows. So I'm going from row four down to row 23. So fill in as needed then. And then I'm just selecting these cells. So cell J, which is going to start at four, and then J. So we're going to get to this pressure cell here and then just put a dot goal seek and then what we're seeking is for the cell with the 800 in so that's my target and then my target is achieved by changing cell temperature so that's how the goal seek is working and then just end it with next j and end sub so once it gets to the end there the loop will close and that's all done and then this button right here is just to call the macro uh, just for ease you can always do it through the macro button you can call it um so that's all sorted now so your entire data table is ready 
and I've just constructed a couple of graphs here. So what I've done is flip the axis. So this will now be the temp, and this will be the fraction. So um, for the VLE diagram, if we just go into how it's been constructed quickly, so if I call the series one here, um, all we've got is we've got the liquid on the X and the vapor on the Y for A. So these are all in terms of A. And then all I've got is a Y equals X line from this little box here. And then for the TXY, if we go in, just let data for it, they're both scatter plots. So um, we've just got for the liquid, the liquid fraction in the X and the temperature in the Y. And then I've done exactly the same for the vapor, just with the vapor instead of liquid. And there you go. So that's all your plot sorted. Um, hopefully this has been useful. You can alter the axis and everything to make them fit. Um, but I'll be do the next step with the McCabe Teal in the next video. Hope this was helpful. Thank you very much. Bye. Hi, so today we're going to be going through how to construct a VLE on X.